Hey everyone, this is Martina Pan and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a thrift flip idea and I will be sharing with you obviously how I made this super cute mini tote bag from these old and used floor sacks made of very thin canvas material. My inspiration for this design is one of 2022's it bags, I think, that all the non-broke fashion people, unlike me, are wearing all over Instagram and Pinterest. And it is from a brand called Telfar Global. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I like how this bag is very cute and functional at the same time because it could carry everything that I need when I go out, at least the essential things. I know a lot of things could still be improved about the design of this bag but right now it looks very raw and handmade and I think that's the charm of it so without much further ado let's begin. Now this is the reality of how messy it was when I initially drafted the patterns for this bag. I just kind of eyeballed everything according to my preferences. But it was quite an easy pattern because all I used are rectangular shapes of varied measurements and sizes as you can see in this main bag structure. So I had to use two pieces of this pattern each for the front and back respectively because I think my fabric was not that thick for my liking. So I also used two pieces for this pattern. Now for the sides, I also use two pieces each respectively so that it is also double lined like in the first two patterns. This fourth pattern is just another long strip of rectangular fabric that I folded just like that for visual purposes. Now for the long straps, because I have very limited amount of fabric, I actually used four pieces of 60 cm by 6 cm rectangular patterns. But if you have enough fabric, I think you can use 120 by 6 as is. This last pattern is for the pocket which is very much optional. Now for the short straps, the result that we want is that on top in this video. Um, so what I did is to just fold the original rectangular pattern that I have cut earlier, I think that was pattern 4, the short straps if I'm not mistaken. And what I did is to just fold that in half, right sides facing each other, and sewn along the lines as indicated by the pins. So this is how it looks like wrong sides out, so obviously the next step is to flip it over to the right side. So this is how the short straps would look like after flipping over and running under a flat iron. Now for the long straps, what we want as a result is the one that is shown at the left side of this video. Now, because I had to use two pieces of 60 by 6 cm of fabric, I needed to attach those two together to form the 120 by 6 cm pattern. With the right sides of the fabric facing each other, this is how I attach the two pieces together. So after attaching those two pieces together, I already have a 120 by 6 cm fabric. So in this step, I was folding the edges towards the center and then after that, I folded it again in the middle. And then I put pins to put that together because this is a very thin strap and I needed that to serve as a sewing guide. So this is how the long thin straps would look like. Now the last accessory that we need to prepare is the pocket and this is quite easy to do because all I did was to sew along the edges except for the top and I also made sure to leave a space at the top. Uh, this is about 1 cm each side. 
With the right sides of the fabric facing each other, this is how I did the pocket. This is how the pocket looks like wrong sides out so obviously I need to flip that over and this is how the pocket looks like. Now we just need to assemble the accessories and the remaining patterns all together starting with the short straps and the front and back patterns which I think is pattern number one. So I just followed along the center of the short straps, um, leaving about 1cm from the top edge of the bag unstitched. So this is how it would already look like after attaching the short straps to the front and back patterns. And I think the bag is slowly coming to life at this point. Also, I just want to remind that I left 1cm from the top edge of the bag unstitched. The next piece to attach is pattern number 2 which is going to be the base of this bag. As always, I am going to attach these pieces of fabric all together with the right sides facing each other. I also left about 1cm unstitched from the left and right edges of the base. So this is how I put the pins as my sewing guide. So this is just me showing you how the project would look like at this point. Again, do not forget to leave at least 1cm from the edge unstitched. Now this is how the project would look like after attaching the base. At this point, I decided to attach the pocket but before doing so, I needed to fix the hem of the exposed edge of the pocket. Now this is the point why I left about 1cm from the top edge unstitched a while back. Now this is how the pocket would look like. As you can see, there is a raw edge remaining and that will be attached to the back of the bag. Now this is the point why I left about 1cm allowance unstitched from the top edge of the bag. And as always, the pins indicate where I will sew. Now this is how the project looks like after attaching the pocket. At this point, it is time to attach the sides or pattern number 3 to the base of the bag. Again, all the right sides are facing each other. Now, this is how the project would look like after attaching the sides to the base. At this point, the sides will be attached to the front and back of the bag. So this is how the project will look like, pinned all together with all the right sides facing each other. And as usual, all these pins serve as sewing guides. So altogether, this is how the project looks like wrong sides out. And so far, this is how it looks like right sides out. At this point, the project looks like this and it can be seen that all the top edges are still raw and so what I did here is to fold that in and just do a top stitch around the bag. Along with the same top stitch, I also attached the long straps and they are indicated by the yellow pins as you can see. And these yellow pins are just in line with the pink pins so that's just one line of a top stitch all around. So the top stitch will follow the lines indicated by the pins and this is how it looks from the outside. So this is the final step of this project. 
and I really felt as if this was a make or break step so I think this is the most crucial step of them all but I really enjoyed making this project and I like how the results have turned out and yes I have already gotten a good use out of this bag and yeah I think that's it I hope you learned a thing or two or I hope I have given you some ideas for your next thrift flip thank you so much for being here